Good evening, everyone. What a glorious night. Well, we could do without the pea soup fog out there, but what a glorious night for us Christians. And we welcome you here tonight. We welcome those who are following online, staying safe in their homes. Uh, it, it is indeed, it's wonderful to see the choir here. I can't wait to hear your gift of music to us. And we have some special soloists that I'm, I'm just so excited. So this begins a time of worship. We will once again hold worship tomorrow morning on Christmas Day. Here at Zion, we will be at 8.30. And then the weekend's not over yet. On Sunday morning, we will be here at 10.30. Each service is a little bit different. Um, so we invite you to attend them all. Tonight, we will be serving communion. We want to make sure all of you feel welcome to partake of communion. We have both wafers that are regular old wafers, and then we have gluten-free wafers. So it's not all gluten-free. So if you need gluten-free, be sure to ask me when you come forward. Are there any announcements that need to be shared tonight? All right, well, let's just dive right into our opening hymn. Please join in singing, O Come, All Ye Faithful. For four weeks, candles have been burning in our Advent wreath. Tonight, the final candle is lit. The candle is white, the color of purity, as Christ's devotion was to God. This candle is at the center of our wreath, as Christ is meant to be center of our lives. Amen. 
Amen. And now we get to hear some special music from our choir.
Our first lesson is from Genesis chapter 1, verses 1 through 5. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. God saw that the light was good, and he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. Our second reading is from Isaiah chapter 9, verses 2 through 7. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. You have enlarged the nation and increased their joy. They rejoice before you as people rejoice at the harvest, as warriors rejoice when dividing the plunder. For as in the day of Midian's defeat, you have shattered the yoke that burdens them, the bar across their shoulders in battle 